It's the United States' 12th federal holiday, a day to mark the end of slavery, Juneteenth. Great nations don't ignore their most painful moments. They don't ignore those moments in the past. They embrace them. We come to terms with the mistakes we made. And remembering those moments, we begin to heal and grow stronger. June 19, 1865, was the day the last enslaved African Americans in Galveston, Texas, learned that slavery had been abolished two and a half years earlier. For more than two years, they were intentionally kept from their freedom. For more than two years. And then on that summer day, 156 years ago, the enslaved people of Texas learned the news. They learned that they were free. Juneteenth has long been commemorated by black Americans in particular, but the date has taken on renewed resonance in recent years as Americans confront the country's living legacy of racism. Activists say making it a national holiday is symbolically important, but it's just one step on the path to racial justice. So let Juneteenth be a day for us to remember that we still are in the fight and in the struggle. And similar to the folks in Texas, we some of us have not yet opened our eyes to the reality of freedom. The measure easily cleared the Senate and House of Representatives. But it comes as Republican legislators push an unprecedented number of bills that civil rights activists say aim to suppress voting by minorities and limit what schools teach about slavery. Lawmakers also remain divided on police reform following the killing of George Floyd.